So do you think the people in the street think the Malaysian election this time is uh, as a very high entertainment value or as a very high political value or you know or uh, everyone is still in the dark? I think it's very interesting for Malaysians yeah. to know. Because what, what do you think? Well, it's uh, for the average Singaporean, uh, it is, I must say, it is quite high on entertainment value. Even for me, someone who's watching it, I mean, you've got uh, videos and uh, all sorts of uh, things um, and uh, yes day. yes yes every day and <laughs> uh, you know conspiracy theory after conspiracy theory and exposés so yes uh, I think a lot of uh, Singaporeans uh, are, are drawn uh, uh, by that but uh, having said that uh, there are also political uh, implications and pol serious political consequences uh, at stake uh, for Malaysia um, I mean, it will be a very closely fought election, and all the uh, analysis and uh, and uh, speculation is that um, it would be a paper thin majority either way. Um, and this is a situation that is new for Malaysia, um, new for Singapore also dealing with Malaysia, a uh, Malaysia with that kind of uh, situation. So a lot of uncertainties. Um, so. Um, uh, I think that um, there will be a lot of, uh, subsequently there will be a lot of uh, excitement also as both parties, uh, because of this thin majority, they will jockey uh, for position and things like that. Um, but uh, the important thing is to look at um, Malaysia's policies, uh, both um, obviously from a Singaporean perspective, uh, Malaysia's policies towards uh, further cooperation, deepening cooperation, but also um, uh, the policies towards uh, the Malaysian people. You know, this is something that uh, I think everyone has a stake in. So we're all watching very closely.